Taken has already had incredible popularity throughout the years, starring Liam Neeson, which made him a huge action star in 2009. The first movie got two more sequels, and after the third installment was released, everyone got the same question, will there be another Taken movie? Well, that remains a mystery, even though it's been seven years since the third one aired. But today, we're going to take a first look into Taken 4. Will it happen, and what could it potentially be about? I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Storyline If you have seen one Taken movie, then you already know what it's all about. The trilogy follows the life of Brian Mills, a retired CIA operative that will do whatever it takes to save his daughter and wife. In the first movie, we saw him fighting for his and his 17-year-old daughter's life to save her from the men that kidnap her by a group of Albanian smugglers. Throughout the movie, he went to the end of the world and back to find her and fought each guy that came his way. Of course, in the end, he managed to save her. But fast forward to Taken 2 and we see Murad, the mafia boss, who goes after Mills to avenge the death of his son, Marco. In the second movie, they end up kidnapping his wife and later his daughter as well. But with the incredible CIA fighting skills, he once again manages to save their lives. In the third installment, Mills is being framed for the death of his wife, Laura, and is on the run to figure out what happened. After all of these events, Taken 4 might seem a bit stretched out, but we do believe there might be a story there that is worth telling. Will it happen? The question we all have been asking ourselves is, will Taken 4 happen? Well, the short answer is that we don't know. However, there have been a few speculations that it might happen. One of the few reasons that people think a fourth installment hasn't happened yet is because there isn't a story left to tell. According to many, they feel like in the three movies, they have worked on every story. And according to Liam Neeson himself, there are only so many times your daughter can be taken. But as of 2021, it has been seven years since the third movie aired. So what if they did a fourth one that would be 10 years in the future? Could that be an option? We are keeping our hopes up for another movie, and we hope that it will be just as incredible and amazing as the first three. Release date when it comes to the release date for the fourth installment, we have to have a production date first, but we can guess, right? Let's say that production will start in 2022. In that case, that gives us at least one year before we get to see the final product. The filming, production, and everything in between can take anywhere from a year up to three years in the future. So if 2022 is the year that Taken 4 starts filming, the earliest we could expect this movie would be at the end of 2023 or early 2024. Liam did say that he would be a part of the movie if there was another one ever. So we hope that in the near future, a sequel will occur. It might not be in the cards right now, but such a popular franchise with a huge amount of fans all over the world should definitely consider getting into the fourth part. Cast. Who can imagine a Taken movie without our main star, Liam Neeson? Don't worry, we already told you that if a new movie happens, he would totally be up for it. Reclaiming his role as Brian Mills would be an honor for Neeson, and we know that he misses getting into all those fights with bad guys. Also, he might be tired of trying to rescue his daughter each time. But that is what dads do, right? Especially when they are former CIA agents. Another character we expect to come back is Maggie Grace as Kim Mills, Brian's daughter. She has already been in all of the Taken movies, and what kind of a movie would it be if she wouldn't get kidnapped or in trouble with the bad guys? Sadly, we don't think we will see Famke Jansen as Laura after the tragic death of her character in the third installment of the franchise, although she might make a comeback in a memory or a flashback in the fourth movie. Two more people we assume might come back are Leland Orser and John Grise in their roles of Sam Gilroy and Mark Casey. Plot 
If you take a look at the first three movies, you can see a pattern in how the storyline goes. Brian's daughter gets kidnapped or in trouble, or his wife gets kidnapped or killed, and he gives all he has to make sure that both of them are protected and safe. And in the case of his wife passing away, he does all he can to find out who did it and get his revenge. Although, as we have seen in the second movie, revenge might come after you one day. So, could we have some bad guys going after Brian for some things he did in the past? One theory we have is that instead of kidnapping his daughter, they could end up taking his grandchild. If the movie is set in the future, the grandchild could be already 10 years old and could be an excellent way for the bad guys to get what they want from Mills. The plot could follow Mills as he lives a quiet life until one day, his daughter makes a disturbing call to him, putting him in action mode and fully diving into the investigation reasons for not releasing Taken 4. So far, there have been quite a few reasons why Taken 4 hasn't happened yet. One of the reasons is the lack of a story. Each of the three movies followed almost the same storyline, and fans began to wonder, if the fourth one was the same, would it be boring? Although these are all theories, we do agree on some level, although no Taken movie could ever be boring. The second reason is that there are already so many actions of the same type that they all feel similar, and this fourth installment could just be another movie to the big pile of action movies. Also, according to some, each movie managed to make less money than the previous one. The first installment made $226.8 million at the worldwide box office, with the majority coming from domestic theaters. Now the sequel only made $139 million domestically while the third one earned $69 million. TV Series As they decided to put a pause on making more movies in the Taken franchise, they did announce that a TV series based on the franchise will occur. The show is a prequel and it is an origin story about Brian Mills and how he became a CIA operative and everything that went afterward. The show is also packed with a huge amount of activities and brings quite the story about our favorite action character, Brian Mills. The role of Mills is portrayed by Clive Stander, which you might know from the mega popular show Vikings, where he played Rolo. A few months after the first season premiered, the show was renewed for a second season with 16 episodes, which unfortunately was also the last season for this TV series. Liam Neeson Quitting? Rumor has it that Liam Neeson is done with playing in an action movie. Well, we'd love to think this is all a lie, but it could be that Neeson is taking a break from acting in such movies. In a recent interview, he has explained that he is close to being 70 years old and that he has so much left to do besides action movies. However, he never excludes the possibility of starring in another legendary Taken sequel. He might be taking a break right now due to his age or simply because he wants to. But we hope that this so-called retirement isn't permanent. Even if we don't see him in the role of Brian Mills again, we hope to see him in other exciting projects that he has going on. On a related note, we wanted to know, what are your thoughts about the fourth sequel of Taken? We would love to hear your opinions in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.